there are many things that uh, surprise the community about uh, this earthquake sequence. And uh, this uh, the fact that there were two very large earthquakes uh, just a few hours apart, um, in fact, has on on distinct faults that are nearby but not the same, uh, I believe has, has never been seen before uh, uh, for an earthquake of this magnitude. The second earthquake was in a fault that was previously identified. It's called the Surgu Fault. It was seismically inactive for all of historical times. Um, so based on current knowledge, we would not predict that. Um, we, we would think that it would be an inactive fault that used to be active in the distant past uh, and uh, could not predict, uh, could not uh, create earthquakes. Uh, but we were wrong. And um, and it created, uh, um, it hosted a magnitude 7.5 earthquake. Its uh, eastern margin has moved, has been displaced by a few meters. That's correct. Um, and this is because the the motion of tectonic plates overall forces entire continents to drift over time, typically at a few millimeters per year. But this motion of tectonic plates is resisted by faults for many years, decades, and centuries. So these faults uh, do not actually move for quite some time. And eventually they release all of this displacement that was you know, forced by the motion of te te tectonic plates into a single event within just a few seconds. As you say, Turkey is an area that's very uh, prone to earthquakes. It's at the intersection of three major tectonic plates and there are many active faults in the area. So the earthquakes that happened yesterday were very large. Those earthquakes of that size are relatively rare. Of course, you know, back in 1999, there was the Izmit and Duste earthquakes. Um, those earthquakes were uh, about three months apart. Um, so these two earthquakes that happened yesterday were closer together in time, but we know that earthquakes cluster together. So the second earthquake was can likely be considered an aftershock of the first earthquake. <laughs>